you're awake. I, I thought you'd never wake up. Oh my gosh. How long was I out for? Like 19 years. Welcome to 2022. What happened? Well, it turns out that trying to shoot fireworks out from under your hat while on paper is a good idea. In reality, it turns out most of them just stay under your hat. That was kind of stupid of me. Yeah, but it was really beautiful. A spectacular red, white, and blue display. Then we started realizing the red was your blood splattering. Still beautiful, but kind of killed the vibe. And almost you. Man, it's a miracle to still be alive. I'm so grateful for being awake. I probably wish you weren't though. What's that? Yeah, it's great that you're awake finally because now you can start living life in this beautiful world of ours. Yeah, about that, what's the world like? Like, are there flying cars, unified world peace? Uh, yeah, um, same old world, uh, not any major changes, just subtle differences, things you'd probably never notice. Uh, yeah, it does sound kind of boring. Well, but at least after 9-11, did our country keep getting more united? Yeah, um, kind of. What do you mean? Well, do you remember in history class learning about the Civil War? Yeah. Well, there's one happening now. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it's like we're united over that. So like in our country, there's opposing armies killing each other on battlefields? No, not yet. Right now, the civil war is being fought at the psychological level, but I'm hoping it progresses to the physical. Why would you hope that? Yeah, I just think it'd be really interesting. One side is very pro-gun, the other side is very anti-gun. I don't think they really thought through their whole strategy on that. That would be kind of cool to see. What else is different? I mean... Not much. It's hard to really think of anything. Oh, men can get pregnant now. Really? Not really, but you kind of just got to go along with it. How come? Well, you know how when you and I were kids, we'd go off into imagination land while we played, but then we'd come back and let reality guide how we live? Yeah. Well, that's reversed now. That's weird. Yeah, but... Just act like it's not. Why do I have to act like it's not? Because if you don't, people with blue hair will get really mad at you. People have blue hair now? Yep. Does it look good? Mm-mm. Okay. What else is different? Well, you know how as a collective, we learned about the horrors of communism and outgrew it as we evolved? Yeah, of course. Well, unfortunately, it's still around. Oh my gosh. I feel sorry for those countries. The oppression they must be- It's here. Here in the U.S.? Yeah, but they switched the name of it to progressivism so people wouldn't recognize it. People are dumb enough to fall for that? Exactly. Well, if there's communism, we still have the Constitution, right? Yeah, yeah, we do, um, on paper, certainly. But it turns out that that's just paperwork. Freedom of speech? How could they get rid of freedom of speech? Yeah, it was a clever process based on stupidity where the things they were doing to take it away, they were telling people they were doing those things to protect freedom of speech. Like it turns out censorship does not protect freedom of speech after all. Well, I just don't believe people would be dumb enough to fall for that. Did I mention people have blue hair now? Yeah. Sit with that. But yeah, they've obliterated the whole constitution and they even overturned Roe versus Wade. But that was never in the constitution. Seems like the world's actually changed a lot. Yeah, but you barely notice it when it happens inch by inch. You acclimate along the way. I mean, you'll really notice it. You just woke up. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be you. But for the rest of us, we just get used to it along the way. Kind of like a frog sitting in a pot of water being heated up towards a boil. But what happens to the frog once the water is boiling? We're told it'll really be protected then. Man, it is so good to have you back. Yeah, I'm grateful to be awake now. But... On the brighter side, there's got to be like some amazing advancements from some of the brightest minds on Earth. Like, have they cured AIDS yet? Now they're causing it. How are they doing that? Well, you remember how we used to have freedom of speech, but don't now? Yeah. So I can't really talk about it. 
here. Okay. Oh, M&Ms are still around. That's good news. They are such a delicious candy. Well, that's good. Yeah, except now M&Ms are about diversity and inclusion, which means I think they're against men and straight white people, such as yourself. But it's just candy. How does that even make any sense? Yeah, making sense isn't really something we worry about doing anymore. Oh, and racism's a thing again. They allow racism? They encourage it. So they want you to be racist against black people? No, white people. It's the exact same thing, but in reverse. So black people are now racist against white people? No, not really. It's mostly white people racist against other white people. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're getting it. Okay. Wait! Wait for what? I'm right here. Is Lisa still waiting for me? No, not at all. She was really committed to staying by your side, but when things started looking bleak about you ever, well, not just laying there pissing yourself, she left you for someone else. What? Yeah, unbelievable. She wouldn't stay with you through hard times. I don't think a girl like that's capable of actual love. But she married the guy, and they've got a couple kids now. I don't know how to process this. Ugh. Who's the guy? Me. Ah, I mean, what? And you guys have kids together? Yeah. You would do that behind my back? I wouldn't do that to you, bro. We conceived the kids right there next to you. You seemed really okay with it. But, ugh. Oh. How long was it after I went under that you guys got together? It was a while. How long? So you went into your little coma vacation on July 4th, 2003. So we then got together like three months before that. That doesn't add up. Oh, math is racist now. Dude, this whole thing is horrible. <laughs> Who's the president now? Have you ever heard of a guy named Joe Biden? No, never heard of him. So he'd been a senator for like 150 years, and then... Oh yeah! Wasn't he the guy that tried to run for president like back in the 80s? And he lied about his academic achievements and college degrees, and then got caught plagiarizing a speech and finished like 37th in the polls? Right! He's the president. We... Now? Yeah. Yeah, sure is. Huh. Um... And how'd the Civil War start? Well, before you went into the coma, did you ever watch The Apprentice? Yeah, it was a pretty good show. Well, he became the president. Huh? But the New World Order that's trying to enslave humanity couldn't control him, so they made up aggressive lies about him to convince almost half the country to hate him. Made up lies about him? But didn't journalists expose their lies so people could see the truth? There's no more journalism. So, like, the news isn't a thing anymore? Oh, the news is still a thing. Well, you said they got almost half the country to hate him. What about the other side? Did they re-elect him? Uh, kinda. What do you mean? Can't really talk about it because of the whole- Freedom of speech isn't a thing anymore. Got it. Right. Whatever. Well, on the positive side, I'm hungry. I haven't tasted actual food in a while. I would love to eat. Would you like to hear about food shortages? 